Is this the new iMac? Please, Apple. No. Over the weekend, we were treated to a new patent design from Apple that many are speculating might be the design for the next iMac. The drawings depict a single piece of curved glass that would house the screen and be supported by a wedge in the back of the device that would house the computer's internals. There's also a drawing that depicts the screen as a docking station for a MacBook. As with all new novel things in the world, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, that looks cool. And then I thought about it for another few minutes or 30 seconds or whatever. And I realized that that is the ugliest, stupidest design I've ever seen for a desktop computer bar none. Not only that, the idea of having a desktop docking station for a laptop that loads through the back is not only a waste of the screen the laptop already has, it also presents some practical problems. Like one, a lot of people like, uh, you know, looking at the laptop screen and another screen. And then two, uh, the majority of people I would imagine don't have the space to load their laptop into the back of their device. It's maybe their desk is against a wall. I'm sure a lot of the folks who will talk about this new patent are going to be all excited and stuff like that, calling it stunning, revolutionary, whatever. But let's be honest, aside from the single piece of glass thing, this thing is ugly and not practical in the slightest. I realize that this is just a patent drawing, but if this is any indication of Apple's direction for the iMac, I hope they take a good long time to reconsider. The iMac design has been iconic since the very first iMac was introduced. The most recent design language has been around for more than a decade at this point. It's elegant, minimal, functional. That's part of what's made the iMac so successful over the years. Apple has always been great at creating designs that are both aesthetically pleasing and ergonomic and functional. This design is neither. The best thing I can say about this design is, well, there's nothing really positive to say about it. It looks like something HP would have thrown out when designing one of their incredibly ugly all-in-one computers. <laughs> In the time since Apple introduced the current iMac design, they've had some design successes for sure, but there have also been some pretty spectacular failures in there as well. Uh, the trash can Mac Pro was very, very cool looking. I, I still want one to this day just because of that, but the design itself hobbled the performance because of thermal constraints. The iPhone 6 was an uninspired step backwards from the iconic design of the iPhone 4 and 5. Apple has just dug itself out of a hole with this butterfly keyboard thing that's plagued MacBooks since 2016. The keyboard was like, you know, very thin and everything like that. It looked great, but it failed all the time. In the years since the current iMac design was introduced, not too many companies have been able to come up with a replication of that combination of function and form and that's saying something. Microsoft has maybe been the closest with the Surface Studio. Yes, they hobbled it by specking it out with laptop grade internals, but the design was really something pretty cool. If these patent designs from Apple are any indication of where they're going with this next version of the iMac, it's just going to be another epic design failure in what has almost started to become a pattern in the post Steve Jobs era. The fact that the iMac design has endured for as long as it has and remained relevant and at the top of the category for as long as it has is a testament to how great design and functionality can work together to define a category so much so that no competitor has been over able to overtake it in more than a decade. The iMac is due for a redesign. Don't get me wrong. That much is for sure. People have been complaining about the thick bezels, they, the big chin, all this other stuff. Uh, and in looking at the design for the Surface Studio and its imitators, it's not, we now know it's possible to get there and do something different than what the iMac has been. The iMac design has always been elegant and modern looking while providing a level of utility most products could only dream of. If the next iMac looks like these new patent designs, if it features any of the half considered functionality that the drawings hint at, Apple will have destroyed a once in a generation product. I don't want to make too much out of these drawings. I mean, there are plenty of patent drawings that are filed and never see the light of day. Again, I get it, I get it, but Apple, I'm going to take this moment and say, please, no. If this is the best idea you have for the next generation of the iMac, just stick to what you've got. 
Maybe design a base that can house some internals and give us that elegant minimal slab of glass screen. Uh, but not this. I beg you. 